After fighting the battles of World War II and beyond, Gurkha soldiers returned to a peaceful but unforgiving existence in the hills of Nepal. Most had no form of pension or welfare support. They faced a life of poverty and okay. hardship. In 1969, the Gurkha Welfare Trust was therefore established to relieve poverty and distress among Gurkha veterans and their families. Today, we provide them with a vital financial lifeline through a regular welfare pension. Every three months, a steady stream of Gurkha veterans and widows make the long journey from their remote hillside homes to our welfare centers to collect their pension. The pension we provide, currently around 58 pound per month, allows them to buy enough food and essentials to remain secure in their old days. When disaster strikes, such as fire, flood, landslide, or earthquake, we are also on hand to provide emergency aid and to support our pensioners as they recover from their loss. Nepal's national health care system is underdeveloped and understaffed, especially in isolated rural areas where many of our Gurkha pensioners live. Fortunately, the Gurkha Welfare Trust provides free medical care for all Gurkha veterans and their families. Our medical team works from our network of 22 welfare centers spread across Nepal. We have medical staff and pharmacies at each centre, including four permanent doctors. We also have 12 mobile doctors and 12 nurses who trek out into the hills and provide treatment in remote village homes. For any serious cases, the Trust pays for treatment at one of Nepal's larger urban hospitals. Last year, Nearly 50,000 people benefited from our medical program. Ramro sa sa, ako ania adlo biyagdigat kinni o nito dawe ko lagi da, muskil tiyo. Alda sarhari paon sa gira alda pa isat talan na pare basi sa jilay mangni, dugo ni pogo pare. Yesterday sa gira. Some of our aging Gurkha veterans and widows are unable to live independently in the unforgiving Himalayan landscape. In response, the Gurkha Welfare Trust has built two residential homes, one in Pokhara in the west, the other in the eastern city of Dharan. These homes offer a safe place to live for 52 of our most vulnerable pensioners. They have access to 24-hour medical support and fully catered, comfortable accommodation. Our homes combine Western standards of geriatric care with an Eastern philosophy of respect for the elderly. as well as offering security in old days, 
The homes are a sociable place to live, far from the isolation that can come with life in the hills. And as any visitor to our homes will soon discover, the pastime of choice will always be a traditional Nepali favorite. You are never too old to dance. Nepal's national healthcare system is underdeveloped and understaffed, especially in isolated rural areas where many of our pensioners live. While many of the urban facilities in Nepal have improved dramatically in recent years, we are still lacking effective support in remote areas such as the Himalayan foothills. This is why the Gorkha Welfare Trust's medical camps are so valuable for rural communities. Each year, the Gurkha Welfare Trust runs eight free medical camps in rural areas of Nepal, open to all Nepali citizens. Our camps provide vital medical care in areas with as few as one doctor per 100,000 people. Many people can go for months, even years, without seeking treatment. Our camps offer an opportunity to seek help. We'll provide a range of services from general health and eyesight checks to gynecology and minor surgery. Some of our most common treatments include dental extractions and cataract operations, both of which can completely transform the lives of patients. On average, our medical camps help 15,000 people each year. Accessing water is a constant challenge in much of rural Nepal. Women and children spend hours each day carrying heavy loads up and down steep slopes. This is why the Garka Welfare Trust established its rural water and sanitation program. We deliver clean drinking water and effective sanitation to 80 villages each year. We teach villagers about the importance of personal and community hygiene. The 1,500 communities we've already helped have seen dramatic drops in waterborne diseases such as dysentery. People have more time for other activities such as farming and education, while improved irrigation leads to a better harvest. In this way, we've already transformed the lives of over 320,000 people. पहिले अब हामी कुवामा मरिन्जेल पानी बोक्थिम डोकोमा बोकेर लान्थ्यौ घरमा भने अहिले नजिकै छ पानी पनि र अब सुखा छ भनुम न अनि यो गोरखा वेलफेयर भन्ने संस्थालाई चाहिँ म धेरै धेरै तर मेरो तर्फबाट धेरै धेरै धन्यवाद पनि दिन्छु र आउने दिनमा पनि यस्तै संस्था अरु पनि थप गरेर अलिक सुविधा दिनुहुन्छ भन्ने आशावादी पनि छु Improving educational facilities in rural villages is one of the Garka Welfare Trust's key commitments. To achieve this, we have been building and renovating schools since 1989. Since then, we have invested nearly four million pounds in school projects, including 128 new schools. Every year, we build extensions to existing schools providing access to education for thousands more Nepali children. 
यहाँ यो जीडब्ल्यूटी ले बनाए इसके पश्चिम बिल्डिंग बनाए इसके पश्चिम हमरा विद्यार्थी भाई बनो जस्ट ले धुलो मार खेलना आप आ रहे हैं ना ये धुलो बैठ पहुंच रहे हैं सांदेरे पहला अब धुलो बैठ बिरामी हों थे स्कूल आउट है ना ये टाइम पक्की बिल्डिंग सा पक्की बिल्डिंग वाको नाले उन्हें वाले रुक कम लाग नहीं वाको चुप दिया ले आवने कर सम जैसे करा यो बिता बिल्डिंग जीडब्ल्यूटी ले बिल्डिंग बनाए इसके पश्चिम यहाँ का विद्यार्थी आवश्यकता बढ़े रह धेरी फॉर्मल जोना अपनी पास वाले कुछ ले डिस्टिंक्शन पन ले इस तो हाल को अवस्था आपने यहाँ विद्यार्थी धेरी पास होने संख्या पन रहेगा इन पावस। एच ओ ओ यार इसको लेते हैं मैंने। We also provide IT equipments, libraries, science labs, furniture and playing fields as well as drinking water and toilet blocks. So far we have helped. Over half a million children in 1,700 villages through our school program. By investing in education, we hope to create a better future for the children of Nepal. At 11.56 on 25th April 2015, Nepal was shaken by its worst earthquake since 1934. Homes were destroyed, schools crumbled and almost 9,000 people were killed. The cost of the damage and subsequent aftershocks was estimated to be in the billions of pounds. For us as a charity, the impact was equally catastrophic. 13 of our Gorkha veterans or widows living in the region were killed. Over 2,000 of their houses were damaged or destroyed and over 75 of our water projects and 160 of our schools were also damaged. We're walking through the rubbles, seeing, hoping to see some of our antennas. We mobilized immediately and worked to get aid to those in need. In the first few months, we distributed over 1,408 packs, 1,100 metal shelters, and gave solar lights and cash grants to veterans and widows affected. Our longer term response focuses on three key strands. Building earthquake resistant homes for our Garka pensioners, repairing and rebuilding schools, and repairing and constructing new water projects. The Queen's Garka engineers have also been supporting our emergency and rebuilding efforts as part of Operation Mahmud, which means rebuild in Nepali. This is absolutely an you know, honor to be here because uh, we've been to all over the country, you know, and just to come in Nepal, your home country, and to do something, you know, for your home is, is absolutely amazing. Nepal is our home. We've been here for a long time and will be here for many years to come. We estimate that it will cost us nearly 18 million pounds to complete our earthquake response work. By doing so, we will make sure that Gurkha veterans, their widows and their communities are able to live their lives with dignity once more. <laughs>